I've never had a drone before. I recently got a B-Wine drone. Wow, this is a nice looking bag. Boom. Boom. Unfortunately, these lanyards don't get any bigger. Let's see how it looks inside. These are the counter rotating propellers. This is the remote controller. And these are two lithium batteries that it comes with. That's pretty much it. It doesn't come with anything else. I know what you're thinking, you want to see the footage, but I don't even know how to fly this drone yet. It's my first time and I'm super excited, but I gotta read this manual. Alright, I'm ready. We gotta extend these wings right here like this just by slowly pushing it down. Same thing on the other side, oh, like this. Then you gotta remove this. Then you're gonna have to move these back. These are a little bit harder to move back than the, the front ones, but don't be afraid, this is meant to move back. The camera is right in front here, and then we're gonna have to remove this thing down. There's a little plastic that covers the camera. Carefully remove that down, like that. It also has a little protection layer on a camera, right here. You just peel that off, just like that. And then now camera can see. Battery comes out by just pressing this button and then just pulling that back. And you charge this with USB-C E port. Let's see if this thing is already charged. Let me press that button. Oh. Looks like it's charged. This thing doesn't show full four bars, but it shows the three bars. So I think we should be good for the test. Next, I'm downloading the BY drone app. It's this one right here. Now we're gonna open this up. This is where the phone is gonna go in. Then you pull these things down like this from the back. The drone is on, now I'm turning on the, the controller right here. Here we go. That's how you turn it on. You basically go 11 degree from both sides. You spin it on the both sides in the circular motion. Just looking at the camera quality, like, I don't know if you guys can see it, but this is a crisp quality drone right there. So we're gonna put it into a practice and get a footage from it. Just from like, you know, absorbing it. Like, look, so you're looking at me right there. Whoa, hold on. Like, hold on. <laughs> like there is you right there, look. doing coming to the home landing I don't land I don't gotta do nothing from my research it seems like most of the drones last up to 30 minutes this one I think lasts up to like a 15 20 minutes because it started off with an 80% battery and we've been flying it less than like five minutes and looks like it's 36% uh, right now so I don't know we might not be able to get a full 20 minutes out of it Let's take a look at this footage and see how the footage came out. I'm not that crazy about the way this footage looks. Next, I really wanted to see how the, the video looks when it comes to like uh, people. Um, this is how defined we look. I think in my opinion, we look kind of pixelated. Um, but I was hoping that it would be a lot more HDer than that. 
and then now I want to see like we have trees behind us so I'm gonna go up here to see like you know how the trees look but I did notice that also like you know trees kind of look pixelated as, as, as well and it takes a second for the footage to you know readjust to HD visibility and then when you're moving left and right the you know it, it really lags and I'm moving really really dead slow so um, it's it, you know it's not looking the way I saw in the videos out there online so that's basically this here's my first impressions of this thing I think it is beginner friendly I think the drone flies really well but the camera quality, I was disappointed. It's not 4K. Um, I looked into this multiple times now. It doesn't look like it's 4K. You guys saw it. So that's the only thing that I think is pretty disappointing. But I would pay about 300 bucks for this drone, not $530.